All right, so good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome, welcome to another episode of uh, Land of Success. Uh, tonight, we're going to keep it informal. We're going to keep it fun. I have a, a good friend of mine here. He's an individual I have a lot of respect for. Uh, he's just uh, just been incredible. I mean, been a big support when it comes to uh, helping our company with our SEO or digital marketing, our clients and so on. So when it comes to helping uh, businesses brand and market and generate leads and make more money, he knows how to do it. But what I really love about this individual is he, lo he, he loves to help people and he's a family man. And so please help me to welcome uh, Jason Hunt. Awesome. Ben, uh, thanks. Uh, as always, uh, I love the opportunity to speak to the Lander for Success group. It's, uh, I think it's such a great community, and, and it's only been a short time, really, that I've been a part of it, but it, it has been amazing, and I've made some great connections over the last six months by being a part of Lander for Success. So thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. It almost feels like you've been here forever, right? So It does. It feels like I've known you forever. It really has. Well, it's amazing, and we, we haven't even started. We haven't even started yet, so which is amazing. You know, Jason, I... I wanted to um, I want to jump right into tonight because again uh, I know like say for example um, you know you spoke to one of the top real estate company um, just just yesterday or two days ago I think I can't even keep track now like all the amazing individuals I'm putting in front of you and they just keep on hiring you it, it's it's crazy that's a testament of you know the services your your company merge provides so. I want to have you come back another time and talk about digital marketing, SEO, and so on. But tonight, for some of my friends who don't know who you are, who is Jason Hunt? Well, I, I think a lot of it was summed up there a second ago. But just to go a little further into it, I guess, um, you know, it, I started uh, my entrepreneurial journey back in, back in 2015. Um, but really, deep down, it's always been something that I wanted to do, you know, owning my own business. I mean, even when back in 2006, when I started a, a rock band, you know, I, I, I love that. I love that. It was almost like my little business um, at the time. Uh, you know, we were booking tours and going to different cities throughout Japan and playing shows, not making a whole lot of a lot of money. But it was still entrepreneurial in that, you know, we were kind of guiding the ship and, and looking out there with the telescope, deciding on where we want to go next and essentially. Actually, it's it's much the same today, but just on a much bigger scale. You know, when you're providing something, not just music, but actually it's something that's soiling people's pockets, right? Wow. Japan. Wow. So take me back to a little bit about that for a minute, Jason. Like Japan, a band, were, were you married there? Were you in school? Were you single? Like what was going on? Yeah. So I, when I, I went to school in at St. Mary's university out in Halifax, Nova Scotia, okay. and I, and I got my, uh, my undergrad in, in psychology. And, and after that, I was like, I didn't really want to settle down just yet. So, um, one of the options that presented itself to me was, Hey, why don't I go travel and teach English? So, um, I went over to Japan with a company called Nova. Um, and, uh, and they put me in, in a little town just outside of Osaka, Japan, uh, called Kashihara. Um, nobody's probably ever heard of it. It's about a 45 minute train ride from downtown Osaka. And it was there where, um, you know, I, one of my roommates was Italian and, and, uh, he was a beatboxer. So I, I like to rap and he liked the beatbox. So we started, uh, started a two man band playing in little cafes in Japan. And, uh, then we met a couple students that happened to be really good guitarists. And I t honestly think, Japanese guitarists are some of the best in the world. Wow. And I credit that to the fact that they've been using chopsticks since they were four years old. Ah. And you're so good <laughs> with like yeah. plucking those strings. Right. So, um, so they joined the band and, um, and then, yeah. And then we started uh, playing regular shows on weekends and then did a little bit of a tour across Japan. And uh, I was very, like I was a singer, but I was kind of mediocre at best. And uh, I get into the details in, in the book, in my part of the and, and burn out to victory but um i realized that through that whole experience i really did like marketing my music more than playing and performing which was amazing as well but i really like just putting it out there and getting new faces in the crowd hearing our music and and after and i used to, i, I love that whole experience so fast forward now i saw this opportunity where i can start my own business and do all those things that i loved doing for my band back in 2006 and 7 that now i'm doing you know 15 years later as a digital marketing agency 
Wow, that, that, that's incredible. You know, my brother-in-law uh, and his wife, I guess um, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, they both, they're from here, and they both actually lived, I think, for years in Japan, and they taught English. And they really never wanted to come home. That was the hardest thing. That, probably one of the hardest decisions I've ever made in my life was because uh, I was there for four years. And mm. so, you know, when you're there for, for, you know, I planned on staying for one, one turned into two, two turned into four. But, you know, when you're there for so long, you develop some pretty deep relationships with people, very strong relationships with people. And to just say, hey, you know, these people that I know from Australia and England and, you know, Thailand, it's like I'm never going to see these people potentially again. And that was really hard to, to leave behind. Um, but, you know, you had to say, yeah, there has to be a point where you say, OK, I got to move on. Because right. for me, for me at the time, it was this. I really want my whole thing back in the day. My goal, the light at the end of the tunnel was to get signed by a record label. OK, wow. I said, I, we're not wow. giving up until we get signed to a record label. And one of our songs talked about that endless desire to never give up. OK. Um, and uh, and some of the lyrics were, you know, not giving up till we play Osaka Dome, not giving up till we're on the cover of Rolling Stone. And, th and these and are lyrics. Oh, that that's beautiful. Of, and it was part of this song that was just about never giving up. So that's never why it was so, so hard to give up. But I had to say, you know. I, I said, hey, we want to play in this festival in Japan. It's one of the biggest festivals called Fuji Rock. The Red Hot Chili Peppers play, play at this festival every year. It's this massive festival in Japan. And so I submitted tapes, uh, submitted uh, CDs, and, and just kept submitting, kept hammering them, just trying to get us on a stage at Fuji Rock. And I said to the band, I said, if we don't get on Fuji Rock, this is my last chance. And I got to pull the plug on it. And so uh, we didn't get on the, the stage at, at Fuji Rock. So that's where I kind of booked my ticket to come back to Canada and start a new chapter. Wow. There you go. There you go. So, Jason, you know, bring, bringing it to today for a minute then. Landed for success. Well, first of all, did you, you did you get that record label? Never ended up getting signed. Came back to actually came back to Canada and I started okay. and I started an online radio station. Okay. Um, called Jamsterdam Radio, which my previous employer uh, bought from me, uh, paid me a good amount of money for it because he saw how passionate I was about it. And, uh, you know, it was starting to generate revenue. So uh, he bought it from me at the time. And uh, and yeah, but then after that, it was just like, uh, you know, I moved on from from music and got more into the marketing side. Into marketing. OK, so I'll, I'm going to make you a promise that next Tuesday. Or it's Wednesday? No, Wednesday. Wednesday. We launch uh, your book, Land for Success, to get you to bestseller, international bestseller. Wouldn't that be, be exciting? That'd so, be amazing. Jason, I'm just going to see if I can show this for a minute. Tell us a little bit about uh, the book. Tell us a little bit about um, how, why did you decide to share your story in, um, in Land for Success? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you guys do a great job at promoting the book, you know, um, you know, especially the first volume, um, you know, everybody knows about it, everyone's heard about it. It's a great concept. And what really appealed me to the second um, edition was the title from mm -hmm. Burnout Victory, um, you know, because I think I think everybody, especially every entrepreneur out there has a story where they were, you know, walking that line of burnout, you know, mm -hmm. really getting to the brink of it if you didn't succumb to burnout. Right. And, um, and I think that that's the key there. It's not getting stuck, um, in that place of being burnt out, but, you know, you know, persevering and getting mm -hmm. to a place of, of victory, you know, whatever that victory may be. Uh, and I think there's, there's stories that everybody has to tell from that journey from point A burnout to point B victory. Yes. And I felt I had a story to share and, uh, I thought it was no brainer to become a part of that book. Yeah. Well, you know, over the last six months, I, I thought I'd gotten to know you Quite a bit and then as i read your story wow thank you so much for sharing thank thanks for your vulnerability because um i wish i could tell the folks right now your story um but i can't right i want them to read it and but in fact like next wednesday next wednesday when you have the book launch uh from 11 a.m to 1 p.m i know you're going to be there the author is going to be there and you'll be you have a chance to share your story so folks if you guys are watching this is my a uh, good friend, Jason Hunt, who's a co-author in Land for Success. Uh, next Wednesday, come and come and join Jason and the other authors and hear their story. And then, Jason, the Kindle version will be available on Amazon. So how can folks support you uh, with a launch next uh, next Wednesday? 
Yeah, definitely show up. I mean, we're going to be live to air from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on February 16th. Um, I'm going to be uh, interviewing some of the other authors that will be uh, featured in the book. And we're just going to have some real conversations and basically get people getting a piece of that book. And let's let's get some orders in there on the 16th. I'm excited for it. This should be great. That's amazing. Let's uh, let's 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 get it to number one international bestseller so we can um, you know impact even more people's lives. Um, welcome, Shopi from California. Shopi just committed to um, being an author, Jason, in um, Volume 3, Lander for Success. So it's um, just so excited. Marcel, welcome, welcome. Marcel is actually an author in, um, in our 30 plus one resilient stories. You know, would you agree, Jason, you know, resiliency is burnout. You know, those are things that people are, people just need, um, those are things that are more, we're more in tune to that today. So if, if somebody's watching right now and they're experiencing a burnout, what would you say to them? Yeah. I mean, I've seen this firsthand in my businesses. Um, you know, we've had employees um, succumb to burnout and, and it's not, it's not a pretty place to be, right. It's not, it's not fun. It's um, you know, it, it's tough. And, and, you know, it's part, I don't even know, like, it's funny because, you know, I think burnout for some people means one thing and something to somebody else, because there's times in my life where I probably was on the brink of burning out, but I didn't want to admit right. it. You know what I mean? And um, you just don't know it, but certain things are happening. You're just not in a good place. You're not, you know, you, you're just, you know, you're doing, you're in that hamster wheel and you're not, you're almost like, you know, you're treading through mud and you're not getting anywhere and you keep doing the same thing over and over again. Um, there's been a couple of books that have, you know, helped me in my journey. One of them is called the one thing. I'm sure a lot of you out there are familiar with it. I think that's a, it's an excellent book because really it just kind of frames your mind on, on what you, the things you really need to focus on. Because if you look wow. at that list of 10 things you need to get done in a given day, because everyone's got that big, massive list. Well, squint your eyes because what are the things on that list that really matter? that really matter to, wow. the, in terms of getting you to that end goal or end result, whatever that is, the, whatever that light is at the end of the tunnel, because whatever that is that you want to allocate your focus on first needs to directly correlate with that light at the end of the tunnel. And I think if people can do that, I think that is one of the ways to alleviate burnout. I think burnout right. happens when you're trying to juggle too many things, too many, ways, right? too many things. You've got this email you got to get to that's, that's lingering on your mind, but you have all this other stuff to do. This is the kind of thing that happens when burnout happens, but you really just got to look at it at one stick at a time, one layer at a time, and just, just peel back the onion that way. And then get to, you know, you really just need to understand what the focus is in those tasks that you're doing. And does it really matter at the end of the day? Yeah. You know, Jason, when you say about one thing, and, and as I watch you, um, you're so busy, right? You, you, you're, my buddy Joey Garcia says, he says, you know, Jason Hunt, he's a media, what is he? I think he says, he's a media mogul, right? Merge media. They're just so busy servicing clients all the time. But, the, you know, the one thing that um, I love is um, you shut off the phones at certain times because family is important. This is probably one of the most important things is, is time blocking certain things. Like it, usually at, at about... Five to six o'clock, somewhere in there, my phone is basically sitting in a totally different room. It's at my desk. I leave my desk and I'm fully there with my kids, mm -hmm. with my three kids and my wife and my dog. And it's just all about them. It's a matter of being there, being there. And you have to remind yourself at times. I have a five minute journal. I read in every single morning and every single night. Mm -hmm. And one of the, the recurring things that I write there for, you know, three things, three amazing things that happened that day. I, you know, every night I'll write down the three amazing things that happened that day. And more times than not, one of those things is uh, I was there. I was there when I was there. You know what I mean? It's like, like I was there. I wasn't thinking about work. I wasn't thinking about that email. I was here when I was present. Being at that present, time. right? Being present. Yeah. Exactly. And, and that's one way it's, it's time blocking things. It's with the podcast, like you said, yeah, it, it looks like I'm, I'm really busy. I am busy, but it's like, I time block things, you know, I, a Tuesday is my podcast day. I don't do two podcasts any other day of the week, but Tuesday, I wake up Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I know I'm doing my podcast. I got that tip from John Lee Dumas. I had him on my mm -hmm. podcast and he does all of his podcasting in one day each month. You know, that's crazy, but that's incredible. He, yeah. He well, bashes. John Lee Dumas, entrepreneur on fire. Jason, yep. you've, you've interviewed, you've inspired me in terms of podcasts because you've, you've interviewed some pretty incredible entrepreneurs. What's yeah. Up? I, what, 
what was one of who, who who do you say would have been like one of your favorite um guests? Wow, and- we've done 123 episodes now, and so Crazy. and it's 20, 123 people. So it's just like what um what stands out? Evan Carmichael um was a okay. really good one. If you're familiar with Evan Carmichael, he his whole word and and mantra is believe. And wow. uh, and we had an episode where we talked about everybody needs that one word. That wow. one word that really matters to you and, and that your, you, your whole life all revolve around this one word. Love yeah. And, and that was a really good episode because it really gives you some introspective uh, and, you know, it makes you think about, you know, what is that one word that really matters to you? And it's not just mm-hmm. you got to give it you got to give it some thought. But that yeah. was really a mind uh, you know, a thought provoking episode for sure. Um, we had, you know, uh, more tactical episodes as well, like Dennis Yu. Um, Dennis, you was a great episode, uh, where we talked about l- how to use local marketing for your business. And, and if anybody knows Dennis, you, he's a very, he's a world renowned, uh, digital marketer and, uh, he provided some great insight in that episode as well, but it's great because we'll start, you know, and we talk, we can talk about podcasts, uh, you know, to, we'll have uh, to come back. We'll have to come back and talk about that. You know, Jason, I, I actually had never heard of Dennis, you until I had went until I was listening to your podcast and then, you know, the success he has is incredible. And then one day I'm on Clubhouse. I didn't even know what Clubhouse is. People are telling me, oh, you should join Clubhouse. So every day there's a new social media right, platform they say to join. I thought it was like a club sandwich. I'm like, oh, yeah, I like club sandwiches. Let me know. I'll come. So I there was one Clubhouse where Dennis Yu was on for eight hours. I believe it. I he, believe he said it. he was intending to be there for an hour, but – people just kept on wanting more and he just kept on giving it's funny De- dennis you um surprisingly i got a gift in the mail about two weeks after i had him podcast and uh it, it, he sent a package with a note and it was a pair of socks with my face all over it and wow. it was, <laughs> but he still made socks with my face all over them and it was just like what is this but it was just one of those things that he did that is it's always going to stand out and i'll, I'll always remember <laughs> very memorable but oh, uh, that's incredible yeah well jason thank thank you so much for taking the time to be here tonight i know you know you're busy you've got the family as well and again if you guys are watching this is uh, jason hunt uh he's a uh, one of the co-authors in land for success from burnout to victory uh please support jason next wednesday and all the authors look jason's done his job all the authors have done their job right and you know the vulnerability you guys it's Jason, it's it's incredible. Thank you for sharing your story. So go and buy a copy uh, next Wednesday. In fact, you know, buy a couple of copies, buy some for your friends, right? Why not, right? Help, help inspire uh, somebody else if you can uh, at the same time. Jason, if, again, I think I asked it already. Did I ask this question? If somebody's going through burnout right now, like if somebody's watching and they're experiencing burnout, what would you say to them right now? Yeah, and, you, uh, you know, yeah, so batch everything. You gotta batch things. You gotta time block things, batch it. I personally live in my Google Calendar. That's my key. Living in my Google Calendar. And keep this in mind. Saying yes to something means you say no to something else, and vice versa. Saying no to something wow. means you just say yes to something else. And if like Are you make an Instagram post of that, would that be okay? A hundred. Yeah, go for it. Wait, what is that again? Say no to something means you're no, say that again. When you say yes to something, you're saying no you to, say something yes else. to something else. You're saying no to something else. Always. Always. Wow. Love that. So think about what you're saying yes to. Hey, always. Um, I look out. Oh, I, I, I times pass out to people. And I, I, I don't want to, I don't mean to be like, hey, book in my calendar because I'm super busy. No, that's just the, the way that keeps me organized. <laughs> so, you know, book a time in the calendar. And I think that's, uh, that's something that's definitely saved me because especially if you're not a super organized person by nature, you need to rely yes, on, yes. on tools um, to keep you organized. And, and I find my Google cow has been a lifesaver for me. Wow. That's absolutely incredible. Well, Jason, once again, thank you so much for being here. Folks that are watching. Thank you. And if you're watching the replay, um, we look forward to you joining us next Wednesday with Jason for, for the book launch. And she says, I just want to share this thought with you. When we did, when we launched the first book, the first volume, you mentioned Japan. Well, we didn't even know uh, that somebody in Japan actually bought a copy of the book, read J.J. Canton's story, who's one of the co-founders of our company, 
was so impressed with the story. She reached out and said, can I interview you? Mm. And she said, I've got about 7,000 media outlets that I want to share your story to. Would that be okay? Isn't that powerful? Of course. Yeah, that's amazing. Right? I would love that. Ever know who's yeah. watching. So can you imagine maybe somebody's going to remember you when you used to be on stage with your band? You never know, right? You never know who could be reading, right? You never know who you, who, could, who you could be watching. Like, I mean, even joining the Landed for Success community, I think, you know, that, that, that's been a great opportunity. I've built some great connections through this yes. group. And, uh, you know, as we continue to evolve past this whole pandemic and COVID, people are looking for more communities to be a part of. And I think the one good thing about Landed for Success is we're taking in anybody with open arms pretty much, right? So right. You know, if you're an entrepreneur and, and you want to join a a like-minded people because entrepreneurship can be a lonely place at times well join land for success come out to a virtual speed networking on the last thursday of every month and just yes. you have 30 seconds to talk about your business drop your business and and pay attention to what everybody else has to offer because you might find a missing piece to your puzzle in that room that's amazing well thank you for for sharing that and yes folks you know, reach out to Jason or myself or just go to landofforsuccess.com uh, to our event page and join us last Thursday of every month. You just never know who you're going to meet there, right? That can just one person, one idea could literally change your business for, you know, for, for, for life. So, Jason, before you go, do you have any final thoughts or comments for, for anybody who uh, may be watching now, watching the replay? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to see you next Wednesday at 11 a.m. Next so Wednesday. 11 Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m., February 16th for the book launch. Um, check it out. Be there. It's yeah, be the, links, the links are coming soon. Uh, I believe if they're working on it now, Jason, it's going to be landofforsuccess.com slash book launch. And then when people go there, yep. there'll be a link where they can watch on YouTube, they can watch on Facebook, or have a link for every country. So if you want to, if you live in, Amazon, India. if you want to buy on Amazon India, you can do that. Amazon Canada, you can do that. So all that information uh, will be released um, sometime this weekend. So Yeah, so take a look uh, on the Facebook page too. If you're on the Facebook page, um, just make sure you, uh, there's going to be coming up shortly, there's going to be a get reminder um, uh, button on that post. If you click that button, you'll get notified when we go live next Wednesday the 16th. Oh, that's amazing. Awesome. Well, Jason, thank you. Once again, so much for being here with us and for all the folks who are watching, thank you. And until the next time, everyone, have an amazing, amazing evening.